Hello all, this video is on single board computer Orange Pi 3 LTS which is the best alternative to Raspberry Pi. It runs multiple operating system Android 9, Ubuntu and Debian and it has got onboard eMMC NAN flash to store the operating system. So without SD card it can boot the operating system. The processor is uh, all winner H6, a quad core 64 bit Cortex A3 processor running at 1.8 GHz clock and with high performance GPU. AW859A is the Wi Fi plus Bluetooth 5 chip and it has got an external antenna also. There are 26 GPU pins as it is compact version. Now, and uh, USB type C power and it requires 5 volt 3 ampere uh, power adapter. No barrel connector is there. And uh, USB port is one USB 2, one Ethernet connector, and two more USB ports. The top one is USB 3, bottom one is USB 2. 3.5 mm audio jack and HDMI 2 for video output. It supports 4K video and there is onboard mic. Apart from that, for debugging, your pins are there, three pins, ground, RX and TX. And there is a power on off switch and uh, power and status LEDs. At the back side, you can, uh, there is a micro SD core slot. You can use class 10 micro SD cords for storing the operating system and there is a eMMC NAND flash 8 GB NAND flash this is uh, Raspberry Pi boards do not have this eMMC this is embedded multimedia cord so you can store the operating system on this instead of SD card and there is a 2 GB RAM that is uh, DDR3 RAM shared uh, with the GPU and AXP805 is the power management chip and uh, you can also boot from the SD card or from the eMMC. To start with, let us uh, write the operating system onto the SD card. For this, you need a card uh, reader and a SD card that is class 10 SD card. Plug in the card reader onto your PC and always use SD card formatter to initially format the SD card. Download this and install SD card formatter. Open the SD card formatter and select the correct drive. If you select wrong drive, you can damage the removable drives. So always correct the select the correct drive and then click on format. Once format is finished, now let us write the operating system. Go to the official Orange Pi website, click on download and scroll down to select your hardware. We are using Orange Pi 3 LTS. LTS means compact version with 26 GPU pins. Select the version and scroll down to see the operating systems. And select Debian image. There is also Ubuntu and Android image. We are going to use Debian image. Download the Debian image zip file and then unzip it to see the image file. We will be using Bellino HR application to write the image onto the SD card. Download the Bellino Etcher and then install it. Open Bellino Etcher and then select select from file. Click on flash from file and browse to the location where you downloaded the image file. Select the image file. Now you have to select the target. Click on select target and then select the SD card. Click on select and then flash. Now flashing starts and operating system is being loaded onto the SD card. Once uh, flashing is done, it will validate and then the flashing is complete. Now remove the SD card from the uh, card reader. The Orange Pi has got by default Android operating system on the eMMC on onboard flash. And uh, on the SD card, we have loaded the Linux operating system. Let us test the both. First, without putting the SD card, let us switch on the uh, power to Orange Pi. Connect the HDMI cable of uh, TV, LED TV to HDMI port. We are not inserted the SD card. Now, just provide the power C cable. 5 volt 3 amps we are using. You can see the operating system is being loaded. This is the Android operating system. My screen is not touch screen, so touch is not working. Otherwise, it will uh, operate with touch. 
Next, we'll switch off the power. Uh, let us uh, insert the SD card where we have loaded the Linux, that is a Debian operating system. Insert the SD card and then uh, switch on the power. If you want, you can connect a mouse and keyboard. Now switch on the power. You can see the Linux operating system, Debian operating system being loaded. And then finally, you get the orange pie screen. This is the Linux, Debian Linux operating system. And uh, on the left side, you can see the uh, list that is the applications, file manager, settings, accessories, office tool system, web browser, and others. To the right hand side top is the network icon. Click on that to see the Ethernet network and Wi Fi network. Click on Wi Fi network and see uh, select the SSID you want to connect and then provide the password of that SSID. Click on connect to see the system has been connected with that Wi Fi. If you want, you can click on disconnect and then uh, connect with the other SSIDs. This is the Orange Pi Debian operating system. Next, we'll see how to debug uh, using the uh, debug port and then using uh, command line interface. For this, you need a USB to TTL device like this. This USB to TTL is built on CP2102. It can be connected easily ground to ground, RX to TX and TX to RX, reverse connection. Only three connections, no power. And connect the USB to TTL to PC and then provide the power to the uh, orange pi now open the device manager uh, to know the port that is a com port allotted to the usb to ttl so this is built on cp2102 so you should have installed cp2102 now let us use putty software uh, for a terminal software open putty select serial and then select the com port that is allotted to usb to ttl Board rate is 115200. Click on open. Now a black screen opens and you can see if you power on the orange pie, you can see the boot up window. And finally you get uh, the login window. Login as root and password is orange pie. This is the default login. And you get the terminal now. That is a orange pie 3 iPhone LTS. This is the root terminal. To configure network, let us use the Linux network managing command line tool that is NMCLI. To scan the surrounding SSIDs, use NMCLI DEV that is device and then Wi Fi. It will scan for the surrounding SSIDs and list out the surrounding SSIDs. Click on uh, that is Control Z to stop the scan. Let us connect with one SSID. For this, use the command NMCLI space dev device wi-fi and then connect the ssid name and then the password and provide the password of the ssid now you can see wlan0 is has been successfully activated it has the orange pie has connected with the ssid now let us uh, know the ip address that is allotted to orange pie use ifconfig space wlan0 under the wlan0 results you can see the ip address allotted to the uh, orange pie it is 192.168.1.9 which is dynamic ip address which may change on next boot so we have got the internet now let us update the software using sudo apt update it will take some time to update the uh, operating system use clear command to clear the screen and use host name space hyphen capital i to get the ip address allotted there is also another tool nmtui which is network manager with the genome graphical user interface uh, instead of nmcli we can also use nmtui use that command nmtui to get a small graphical interface here you can edit a connection or activate a connection click on activate a connection to get the list of wi-fi surrounding ssids you can see a asterisk mark which indicates that it has been connected with that ssid 
you can also edit the edit a particular connection click on edit a connection and then click the ssid to edit password and uh, see the ip address but uh, nmcl is faster and effective now let us install tight vnc server for a headless view of uh, orange pie onto your pc so you can use your pc's mouse and keyboard you need not connect any, connect anything with the orange pie for this install the tight vnc server now the installation of tight vnc server is on and once uh, when it is finished you can use you can start the tight vnc server by typing in tight vnc server space colon 1 that is session 1 it tells the tight vnc to listen for vnc connections on port 5901 you have to provide a password that is your own password and then retype it to confirm the password for show oh, that is view only password you type in no and finally you get your new x desktop is orange pi 3 hyphen lts colon 1 for viewing this on windows pc you need a vnc viewer on windows download vnc viewer and install it on windows open the vnc viewer click on file new connection and then provide the ip address that is allotted to the orange pi here it is 192.168.1.9 and then a colon and 5901 that is the port 5901 that is the session one and provide the name for the session vnc view now it will ask for the password provide the password and then click on ok now you can see the orange pi welcome screen on your windows pc you can click on application or to the right top you can click on the network and you can uh, work as if uh, you have the screen in front of uh, it is connected to the orange pie this is headless mode of operation and next we will see how to transfer the operating system onto the onboard emmc which is uh, embedded multimedia card onboard storage there is onboard storage of 8 gb this is uh, special to orange pie boards in raspberry in no or raspberry pi models this emmc is provided use this command sudo command nand iphone sata iphone install to transfer the operating system onto the nand flash emmc now select the boot from emmc and click on ok next it will ask for the confirmation to erase the emmc as it is a nand flash it will ask for the confirmation click on yes to continue and then select es ext4 file system for uh, uh, that is uh, it will uh, as it is linux system it will format to ext4 once the format is uh, over it will start loading the operating system onto the emmc and finally click on power off now the power is down uh, if you switch on the power button again you can see the uh, now you can remove the power and then uh, remove the sd card now provide the power again to see the operating system booting from the nand flash thank you for watching